You might not think that this strange gray blob looks like much, but it's so dangerous that a mere five minutes in its presence is lethal. It's located in the basement of the site of the Chernobyl disaster, and it's the largest of its kind in the entire world. It also makes its surroundings the most dangerous place on the planet. Let's explore this spooky substance from the safety of our homes, but don't forget to hit the subscribe button first. The Chernobyl disaster took place on April 26, 1986, at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. This cheerful place is located near Pripyat, a town in the Ukraine. It was once an active power plant until disaster struck the number 4 light water graphite moderated reactor. A late night safety test simulated a blackout, and the safety systems were purposely turned off. Due to a flaw in the reactor, as well as human error on the part of the operators, the reactor became uncontrollable. After a massive seam explosion, an open air graphite fire blazed for nine days, creating updrafts allowing fission products to fly into the atmosphere. The area surrounding Chernobyl is an exclusion zone that you can't just walk into, but some people actually do visit. About 12,000 tourists stop by each year, and 75% of them stay just for one day. In comparison, that's about the same number of visitors that Disney World has in just two days. Not only does this fun location probably have a crappy gift shop, but it is the site of a blast that put off 400 times the amount of radiation as the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima in World War II. It took 600,000 people just to contain the disaster, and sadly not all of them survived the effort thanks to the amount of radiation. Currently, what was once Reactor 4 is now encased in about 14 million cubic feet of concrete. But since there are about 250 million tons of radioactive materials underneath, they're already at work constructing another enclosure to prevent leaks. Pripyat was once the home of the people who worked at Chernobyl, but now it's completely abandoned. Most of the citizens at the time were completely unaware of the extent of the emergency, and they weren't evacuated until two days later. At one time, about 120,000 people lived in this area, but today that number is a measly 200 people. At least with the number of humans greatly reduced, the animal populations around Chernobyl are doing surprisingly well. But what about that mysterious and dangerous object lurking in the basement of Chernobyl? It's called the elephant's foot because of its wrinkled appearance, and it's made out of a lava-like substance called corium. In a matter of seconds, the temperature shot up to about 2600 degrees Celsius, or about 4712 degrees Fahrenheit. A zirconium-uranium oxide melt formed the core of the elephant's foot, and over the course of the next six days, it bonded with various surrounding materials, such as sand and concrete. This brought silica and silicates into the mix. Finally, the floor could no longer take it, and the elephant's foot broke through the floor and crashed into the basement. Although it's cooled down substantially since it first formed, it's still warm and it's still dangerous. It's only a matter of time before it eats through the basement and ends up crashing into the water supply below. This would end up tainting the water supply and possibly causing yet another explosion. Of course, that won't happen for a few hundred years, but you should still definitely stay away. The radioactive atoms in the basement are unstable and a form of ionizing radiation. Unlike the harmless non-ionizing radiation emitted by, say, your cell phone, this type contains a massive amount of energy, enough to scramble up the atoms of your body. If you thought that doesn't sound healthy, you win a gold star. It can mess with your chromosomes and lead to conditions like cancer. So just how radioactive is the elephant's foot? It puts out about 10,000 rotgens of radiation per hour, or over 10 times the amount a human can withstand. If you don't want to trek all the way to the Ukraine, you can just get 4.5 million chest x-rays to simulate the experience. Should you be exposed to some radiation for a short period of time, it will take time to damage your body, and it could possibly be treated in the meantime. But a sudden intense blast like what you would get in this basement is absolutely lethal. Standing around for more than five minutes puts you at a 0% chance of surviving the next 48 hours, and we definitely don't like those odds. If you're wondering what happened to those people who you occasionally see in photos inspecting the foot, we sadly don't know. Thankfully, we do now have remote-controlled cameras that give us the opportunity to observe it in a much safer way. After all, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. If you thought the basement from IT was creepy, now you have a whole new basement you want to avoid. You're welcome. Be sure to drop us a comment, like this video, and subscribe to our channel for more from The Hub. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. If we can stay away from the elephant's foot, of course.